little sync clap. Hey everyone, Matt from soundrolling.com and I'm going to be showing you the tentacle sync syncing software for uh, doing time code effectively in a scratch track to a DSLR only using this little thing. Um, it's very ingenious, so essentially you get one side of your audio track in terms of a stereo, like in this uh, Canon 70D. You're going to get one side which is actually going to be a microphone, which is hidden just behind uh, the little thing there, let it focus, little USB bit. And then you have on the other side audio time code, and then you're going to be able to use the Tentacle Sync software to hopefully be able to sync these up. So I thought I'd take a look and have a try and share the results with yourself. So let's take a look. Okay, so now we've opened this thing here, the Tentacle Sync app for the Mac, um, and we've got essentially our video file here and also our audio file. I kind of moved them into the same card. That's how they like that. So if you play it, You get this lovely annoying time code on the left channel, which is track one, and you get uh, a rough guide track on track two. So what we're going to do is we're going to import and check all this info. This is the separately recorded sound file that I did with the 688. Um, we can see that there's info up here already about what the uh, type of video is, what the type of audio is. Uh, the file time code is actually different to the audio time code because my, um, my 688 had a different time for some reason. So, and I couldn't be bothered to change it. So, essentially all we're doing is we're just going to select both. We're going to do read audio TC first, just to make sure that it's going to read the right track and right information on the camera side of things. So we know that our frame rate is 25 frames. I've chosen track one, uh, although you could choose auto track and auto channel, of course. But I know that on track one and on channel one, it's going to be the audio time code. I've done the reading range as the middle of the file because it was suggested to me um, and the reading algorithm uh, level detection is set to low just because it is and there's no offset because there shouldn't be any lag in this. So reading time code and then essentially we have all the correct information just double triple checked essentially um, and so now all we're going to do is sync the info and look it's synced so now if I double click little sync clap. Hey everyone, Matt from soundrolling.com and I'm going to be showing you the tentacle sync syncing software. So, that's a lovely freeze frame and this is how it's all synced. So now all we need to do is obviously export synced movies and then we would simply export to, I don't know, wherever. I've got loads of rubbish on my computer. Um, music? Yeah, why not? And it's Synced. The one file synced. There we go. So now, if we go files, go to music. If I even have music, how do I even find music? I've saved it to a place where I don't know where it is. There we go. This is our original, but now it's synced. Hey. Little sync clap. Hey everyone, Matt from soundrolling.com, and I'm going to be showing you the tentacle sync syncing software. So there we go. And that is essentially what you could do. Let's change that. It's distracting. Ooh, look at this shiny time code sync. All right. And essentially, that is it. So I guess the idea is that you would have lots of different takes. You'd be able to link them all up. You'd be able to read the audio time code, make sure you have all the right settings. You'd then just simply sync them and export them. And it seems incredibly easy. Um, I mean, there may be lots of other different options, like this multicam mode. All sorts of stuff, but I just wanted to give you an intro because I couldn't find anywhere to explain it to me, so I've just been stumbling through for the past uh, half an hour. But we've got there in the end, so if you like this video, you can always give it a thumbs up. You can, of course, subscribe for more audio stuff, and more importantly, leave me comments on what you want to see next or what's going to be useful for you. It just makes it incredibly easy to make content like this because I know that people want to see it. So that's it from me. I will see you later.